Hey Storytime Kids! Welcome to the kids section at Palmer Public Library. We're gonna get our motion in here today. So welcome, you are helping me do my very first Storytime in Motion from the kids section. Let's see, as usual, we've got a story for you that'll inspire our workout. And the only piece of equipment I plan to use today was a stool. So if you have something at home that you can use that's sturdy to work on, like a chair or a couch or a coffee table, something sturdy and that won't wobble over, that's all we need today. All right, to get us started, we're gonna read this really great book by National Geographic Little Kids. It's called Ocean Counting. It was written by Janet Lawler and the photographs are by Brian Scary. And they're just so cute. All right. Ocean counting. Here we go. Explore our beautiful blue ocean while learning how to count. Visit colorful coral reefs, warm and sunny seas, sparkling ice packs, and other special spots where marine animals live and play. And on your way, discover new ocean friends on a worldwide counting adventure. Are you ready? Let's dive in. One green sea turtle. One green sea turtle swims and skims along the ocean floor. It chomps on a meal of seagrass. See what looks like a puff of smoke? It is the sandy sea bottom stirred up by the turtle's feeding. Two harp seals. Two harp seals nuzzle nose to nose in the icy Arctic. Guess which is the baby? Did you choose the soft fuzzy yellow one? Mother seal stays close to feed her new pup. All right, number three, star eye parrotfish. The th three star eye parrotfish show colors as bright as a tropical bird. What else about this fish reminds you of a parrot? The strong teeth of these fish are tightly packed into a parrot-like beak. Four reef squid. Four reef squid explore shallow waters. What color are they now? Faster than a blink, they can change colors or patterns. They do this to signal each other, blend in, find mates, or warn enemies. That's neat. Five, pink sea star arms. Five arms on this pink sea star bend and flex. Tube-like suckers underneath these arms hold the sea star in place. What else do the suckers do? They grab food and help the sea star move. Six, Adelie penguins. Six Adelie penguins waddle over ice toward open water. Which penguin looks ready to dive in? Maybe it's just picking up a stone to line its nest. Seven glass eye fish. Seven glass eye fish dart and dip around coral. Their shiny red scales dazzle like flashes of fire. Can you also count seven big black eyes? Yes. Eight sea otters. Eight sea otters doze in a cozy group floating on their backs. How do they stay dry and warm? Their slick their thick, slick fur acts like a raincoat and traps air to keep out the cold. Nine hammerhead sharks. Nine hammerhead sharks swim together. The sun shines down on them through the clear sky and water. How do you think this shark got its name? Its head is shaped like a hammer. Ten. Ten Bermuda sea chub glide, tails waving side to side above a colorful reef. Where are they going? Maybe they will visit nearby sea plants to nibble a snack. And here's a review, one through ten. And you can also count them backwards, ten back to one. And if you ever like to check this book out and bring it home, there's some more cool facts in the back. All right, you guys, our story today brought us through numbers one through 10. And that's what we're gonna do for a workout today. So we already talked about having a piece of furniture handy. 
If you don't have a stool, please just use your couch, your chair, something sturdy where you won't tip over. Uh, make sure whatever surface you're on isn't slick or smooth. We don't want to fall over. We don't want to smash or crash. So make sure you're sturdy. And of course, you've got comfy clothes on to move in and just a little bit of space. Again, we don't want to crash. So we need a little bit of space. If you need a moment to gather your items, please take a little time. Otherwise, let's jump into our workout. Our first thing today, number one, we've got a plank set. So to do a plank, we're gonna think of a board, a long, strong board. And that's what we're gonna turn our bodies into. So if you put your hands right under your armpits and your legs straight out back behind you, this is it, you guys, we're in a plank. Let's hold this for a few seconds. Maybe you start to shake or wiggle a little. That's your muscles working hard. Excellent. After one comes two. And for this one, we're gonna get up and run. When I stand up, my head might pop out of the shot, but that's okay. We'll just get a body shot of running in place. Let's run for 10 seconds. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stop. Well done. All right, next we've got some push-ups, just like a plank, but we're gonna keep moving. So let's get back into that plank position. We'll get hands under armpits, legs straight out, and let's count down from eight. Why not, huh? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. I hope your arms are feeling strong. <laughs> All right. That brings us to squats. We get to work our big powerhouse muscles. I love doing these. All right. Again, my head's off. That's okay. We're going to open up our feet so they're wider than our hips, wider than our shoulders. So we've got a nice wide base with our feet and we're going to keep our hips our shoulders and our necks all in a straight line right over our hips here. So the only thing moving will be our legs. So I like to start with bent knees and we're just gonna drop down nice and easy into one, two, three, hello again, that's four, and five. We'll stop there, well done. All right, this is where our furniture comes in handy. Do you guys remember what we do with furniture? It's usually a dip. Let's do that. We're gonna back up to it and put our hands back here. And we want our legs out in front of us where they're comfy and bent. When you're feeling sturdy and under control, we use our legs. Or no, I take it back. We use our arms to dip us down into a dip. Let's do five of those. We'll count. How about we count in Spanish for these? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Well done, you guys. And if you feel like it, you can move your furniture. We'll get that out of the way. All right, next are star jumps. This is a big explosive move. So again, I'm gonna lose my head, but I'll pop right back down. So to get started in these, we're in the perfect position kind of crouch like a ball or an egg. And the star jump part comes out where we jump out of it and we want to turn our arms and our legs into a star. Our head counts as the fifth part of the star, right up here. <laughs> and so it'll go like this. Let's do five of these together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, well done. All right, let's move on with some crunches. For these, let's take a seat on the floor, roll back. I kind of like to cross my ankles in front of me and put my hands behind my head. And we'll just do five of these. Ready, let's crunch it out. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, I hope you could feel that right in your belly. 
All right, high knees. I'm gonna hop up for these, and the important part is you're gonna be able to see my knees. So for these, keep your back straight. May as well get to it. Keep our back straight, and what we're gonna do is bring our knees up. And I try to get my knees at least up to my belly button. So let's do some high knees together. We'll do them for just a few seconds and then stop. Ready, let's go, high knees. And keep going, keep going, and stop. <laughs> well done. All right, we're in the perfect position for our ninth move today. We're working up to number nine. This is jumping jacks. So it's kind of like a star jump, but we start standing up and jump out into our star. So let's do, while well, we're on number nine, let's just do nine jumping jacks. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. And our last one, I'm not sure how you're doing at home, but if your heart's pounding kind of hard and you're starting to breathe a little harder, this is perfect. So we can sit down crisscross applesauce and keep your back and your shoulders up straight. And we're just gonna breathe. We'll take a couple of deep breaths together and try to cool ourselves down and we'll call it a great workout. So we'll take a nice deep breath in and hold it and blow it out. There's one. Let's do two more. In, hold it, and out. There's two. Our last one. Let's make it count. Yes. I hope you're feeling really good. That was great to get our hearts pumping. It was great to get breathing hard. Maybe even got a little sweaty at home. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining me for Storytime in Motion at Palmer Public Library today. If you'd like to be in touch with the library, please find us on our website, palmerak.org library. You're always welcome to find us on our public Facebook page, Friends of the Palmer Public Library. Or if you'd like to chat, give us a call Tuesday through Saturday after 10 a.m. at 745-4690. Thanks so much. Have a great day.